Hi guys, welcome to Island Girl Foods TV. And today we're going to experience the most amazing crispy skin, gluten-free fried chicken. Yes, I said it, it's my family's authentic recipe. Crispy skin, gluten-free fried chicken. Hit that subscribe button and follow Island Girl, G-U-R-L, Foods TV and ring the bell so you can stay up to date with all my weekly recipes. If you're ready, let's go. So I've trimmed all excess fat away from the chicken and I've rinsed in a bowl of cold water with one tablespoon of white vinegar. Now, the science breakthrough of this chicken and how we're going to accomplish crispy skin is by the combination of baking soda and salt. It's used to draw out moisture and promote a crispier chicken skin. So baking soda is alkaline. It raises the pH level of the chicken skin, breaking down the peptide bonds or in layman terms, we're going to accomplish a much more crispier and crunchier chicken faster than it would be on its own. Starting with a quarter cup of Raquel seasoned salt that you can find on the link. And we're going to mix a third cup of fine sea salt with two teaspoons of baking soda. Turn the chicken skin side down on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And we're going to lightly season with Raquel seasoned salt. We're going to season all the way to the drumsticks and we want to just gently slide the skin of the drumstick back so we can get some season in there as well. After we're done, we're going to turn our chicken over where it's now skin side up and on this side this is where we're going to use that wonderful salt and baking soda mixture this is what promotes the crispy skin of our chicken so we want to be a little generous with this mixture for the best results and after we're done, it's time to set this to the bottom of our refrigerator for approximately two hours. After two hours, we want to take it out and we're going to pat dry with paper towels. And then we're going to go over the chicken skin by dusting all of the baking soda and salt mixture away from the skin. Try to dust as much as possible as we don't want any of the baking soda left on the skin. Refrigerate for an additional hour. Remove from the refrigerator 15 minutes before frying. Make sure your oil is up to the correct temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Carefully place the chicken in the fryer's basket, making sure not to overwhelm the basket. Cover with a lid to avoid any splattering of the oil. You want to cook the chicken until it's about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius, when probed with an internal thermometer or you can pierce with a fork until the juices run clear. Rest the chicken on a wire rack to drain. This calls for the most crispy, succulent fried chicken. Here we have it, crispy, succulent, gluten-free fried chicken. I gotta go in, I have to do it. And of course, my delicious honey thyme syrup, 
drizzled all over. Oh my gosh. There I go. See if you guys can hear this. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, can you hear that? Can you hear the crunch? This chicken is perfectly seasoned with my one and only Raquel's seasoned salt. You have to try this. Until next time, remember to tune in weekly to Island Girl Foods TV to the best in Caribbean cuisine. All recipes are on my link below. And guys, remember, when it comes to Caribbean cuisine, no one does it better than your island girl. Cheers.